Hi, I'm Kelly with Blue Water Photo, and today we wanted to look at the brand new Nauticam housing for the Canon G7X Mark II camera. The Canon G7X camera has just hit the market. We are just starting to get the housings, and Nauticam is one of the first ones out. Let's take a quick look at the camera itself. It's nice, small, compact, very similar to the G7X that came before it. In fact, it uses the same 24 to 100 millimeter lens and has the same 20 megapixel sensor inside. They have made a few changes to the body styling, such as a flip out LCD. Not that that's very useful to us underwater, but when you do use the camera topside, it's nice. They've improved the processor on the camera, which affects overall performance and quality. The high ISO performance has been improved and they added a 14-bit RAW instead of the 12-bit RAW, so you get overall higher RAW images, as well as a slightly faster burst mode. So, still a great camera, definite improvements from the G7X, some really cool things to look forward to for shooting underwater. Compared to some of the other compacts out there, two small minor things is that it doesn't shoot 4K like the popular RX104 from Sony does, and it still has the same battery that the G7X had, which really isn't that great, so you definitely want to invest in spare batteries so that you never run out of battery while on a dive trip. Let's go ahead and take a look at the housing. As always, Nauticam has crafted a wonderful housing for this camera. It remains small, it's very well engineered, you have full camera functionality, so let's take a look at some of the features. Just like all their camera housings, you've got a nice little thumb pad, a good grip if you're going to use the camera by itself, easy to use shutter. Just like their other compacts, they have started including the shutter release, as well as the Flexitray handle brackets. So if you want to use this camera on their Flexitray system, you've got a full bit included. You don't have to buy any extra accessories so that it's really secure. And you can use the, the trigger extension so that you shoot kind of like this with the tray. It makes it easier than trying to reach and turn the button down when you want to push your finger in. So it's a really nice little setup. Similar to the G7X, this housing uses their N50 ports. So you push down the red button and turn, and the standard port comes off. It ships with this standard port, which has 67 millimeter thread, so you can attach any of the wet lenses and zoom completely with the camera. Other port options include a dome port, which gives you the in-air property of the camera. So you'll see the same angle of view underwater as you do topside. It's an inexpensive way to get a wider field of view underwater. There's also a shorter port, which can be used with some of the wide-angle lenses, like the Nauticam WWL1 or the Diron Super Wide Angle Lens, in order to get really nice wide-angle with no vignetting. Most of these lenses are designed for 28 millimeters, so with the 24 millimeter cameras, you often see a little bit of shadowing in the corner and having the shorter port helps avoid that. You may still have to zoom in just a touch to get rid of it or crop a little bit in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop afterward, but overall it works really well. They've got a nice zoom lever that is spring-loaded, so it stops once you let it go to the camera. The buttons are tiered, makes them easy to push. The dials are easy to find and use, even if you have big gloves on underwater in cold environments. Just like all their other compact camera housings, it's very easy to open. Simply push in and pull back, something you're not going to accidentally do underwater, but easy to do when you mean to. They use a nice gray o-ring here, so it's easy to see if there's any hair, grit, dirt, etc., and keep it clean so you never have an issue. In addition, one of the new things that they're starting to include in their compact housings is that you can actually put the vacuum bulkhead on this housing and use the vacuum system here so that you can know before you enter the water if your o-ring seal is good. It's a great accessory to add on to any camera housing, it's sort of like a little insurance policy before you dive. That would show here, there's a little LED, it gives you a green light if you're good to go, it blinks red once the vacuum seal has been compromised. Overall, looks like an excellent little housing. We're very excited to see how this camera does underwater. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. Thanks so much for watching the video.